Greetings, Warlords, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Warlords 2. Uh, last time we took out the island kingdom of Erythia as the uh, Empire's faction. So, and uh, due to some fair popular quests, the amount that I'm enjoying doing this Let's Play series, and, well, because this is a great game, we're going to continue on and do the other uh, two larger map campaigns and maybe another random map like I was originally planning. Next up is Hadesha, the land of nightmares, and this is the map that Icehair Stuff did in Warlords 2 Deluxe, so we'll be taking a look at it as well. Let's begin. Yeah. Hopefully with the uh, faster DOS box, uh, <laughs> when I, I sped that up with a little bit of Control F12, and uh, so hopefully these loading times won't be as long this time as they were the last time, as that was a little painful. I am the greatest. No, I'm really normal. Yeah, just get everyone set to Warlord. Uh, do I want to leave everything the same as before? Once again, I'm only going to do hidden map on the random map. Uh, hiding the scenario map from the AI, not so great. Um, a couple of people asked what intense combat does again. Uh, like I said, uh, if you have a lot of lower quality units, they tend to kill higher quality units more often. The AI does not compensate for this effectively, so you can just spam light infantry on them. I don't like it, but it's there if you want it. Um, I think the settings are pretty good actually, so uh, we're going to hit done. Done and done. So who to be? This is the landed nightmares, so you have the dream knights, lol lol, as well as nightmare. Uh, and then you have all these other factions, Lord of Sloth, Lord of Greed, Lord of Fire. This map, as Ice Hair said, is less balanced than Erythia, I would agree. He picked Nightmare, which is one of the harder starts on the map. I would say uh, Nightmare, Lord of Power, uh, maybe even the Dream Knights to a slightly lesser extent have the hard starts on this map. Uh, Lord of Sloth and Lord of Fire have by far the easiest, and then Lord of Greed, just because he gets those frickin' griffins, uh, he, can, he can cause problems too. Somebody wanted me to play the green faction uh, last time, so uh, should I be the Lord of Beauty? I, I did a one of my practice runs was on this map, viewers, and uh, I picked the Lord of Sloth. I got the boots of speed by like turn three, and uh, yeah, level broken. So uh, I got lucky that time. I think I won this by like turn 19 or something. I will try to win more quickly this time. A lot depends on how quickly you can take the early cities. Anyway, with the <sighs> we're gonna go full stop. We're gonna go full stop. We're gonna be the Lord of Beauty. Now, should I uh, make some of these Warlords characters? That didn't go so well for Red last time. So, I don't know. I, mean, I think I'd like to at least show off uh, some of the other personalities. So, Everyone's freaking formidable. Alright, we're gonna do this in order. Dream Knights will be Attila. Lord of Sloth will be Margaret. Uh, yeah. Ian the Infamous. This might actually make the Gim map really easy, but it also might make it hard because uh, someone might. I'm already uh, out of, out of uh, ideas here. No, this um, th this might make it hard because someone might run away. Ooh, the insidious! Look at that. We've already seen Hand the Hammer, so uh, we'll go with Roger the uh, Unrepentant, and then William the Wily. Wily from uh, Mega Man. Yes. There we go. Mass characters. Let the war begin. Let the war and yes, I begin. said that before he did. So, uh, if you think it's an audio sync issue, it isn't. I, I, it's a uh, it's a user error sync issue. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like in Madden, you get the user error. Lol. <laughs> I've had uh, some ups and downs with Madden lately. I've been playing a little bit more of that. Um, I'm like a level seven now. Rating around 800, not great, not terrible, but you know, to be top thousand, I think you need to be in the 900s, like mid 900s, and then you make uh, top 100 pretty quickly after that. Well, no, more like top 200 pretty quickly after that. You only need a couple hundred more points, or like 100, 200 more points. 
And a win is worth somewhere between, like, 8 to 14, depending on how much better someone you beat is. But, man, high-level Madden can be so frustrating sometimes, because you'll play and you'll fumble the ball, and they won't get a fumble. And uh, so you lose by, like, a field goal on that crap. Or, you know, you get four drop passes by someone like Wes Welker, a really good player in the NFL, a really good player in Madden. And, yeah, he just drops the pass. It doesn't matter that he is, like, almost max catching and max catching traffic. Nope. And then they throw, like, a pass to someone crummy, and, you know, they don't... They never drop their passes. And uh, the reverse happens, too. I've beaten some level 10 pluses. I've beaten some people who are, you know, like, mid-500s uh, in their rankings because they got unlucky. You know, they, they try to run the ball. I, I predict it correctly. My linebacker sticks them, and they fumble. And uh, yeah, I recover the fumble, score. You know, maybe the next drive they try to press a little, throw a pick. All of a sudden I'm up two touchdowns, and you know I have a good ball control offense. Uh, I can kill a lot of clock. You know they they start coming back on me, and I'm like, nope. Fourth quarter I just drain out almost the entire quarter on one drive and win the game. So I don't know. It, it's frustrating that the games are so short that it's decided on luck so frequently. Man, is Madden decided on luck so often. And there's a lot of skill there, and it's fun to play, but oh my god. <laughs> and then I have like 25 losses or so from disconnects, too, which there are some cheaters in the community, including the top 100. Yes, yes, the people who have less total, like maybe 500 or less total points, but hundreds of games played, that's... Yeah, they're, uh, they're cheaters. They're cheaters, so that's not cool. Anyway, uh, let's try to make this a little faster. Yeah, see? He, uh, he lost. And the, uh, Orange lost his Griffin. Oh my god, Lord agreed got destrolished. And these AI personalities. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna go full on theme here. Starting with the first hero, the mighty Rainbow Dash will be dashing through. Well, it's not a Pegasus this time, but we'll have to make do. Uh, Pegasi, well, I'm going to start off with unicorns looking around, seeing what my territories to conquer are. Alright. So, one thing about neutrals is they don't get the bonuses the way standard defenders do, so you actually have better odds against neutrals than you would against an AI city of comparable uh, value. Now, I picked green, and I feel a little bad doing it, because this is one of the stronger factions. You have a number of ways you can, yeah, you have a little bit of travel time, so, and that's one of the reasons I disagree on black necessarily being the weakest position, is you have a number of cities that you can reach easily and take quickly, and uh, a lot of the AIs don't have that. Like, if you try to expand quickly with orange, well, you're running into griffins, and if you get unlucky, you're host. Um, white doesn't have it so bad, but again, the cities are spaced a bit further. And, uh, you know, light blue, same thing. They have griffins, and they have a little bit easier time. Well, actually, they have some tough fights and some easy fights. But my point is, when you have these really strong defenders in the immediate vicinity, and you don't have a good starting unit to support your hero, it's hard to take the early cities. And if you don't get the early cities, you don't have the production capability to start producing tons of units and capture even more cities. It's a ball rolling down the hill thing. One of the reasons my game took 40 turns, well, like 42 or 3, on, um, on Arithia was because I, uh, I didn't take enough cities right away. So it, it took me a long time to get any production going at all. But on the flip side, I was able to crush black and get some quality forces right away. On this map, I'm going to be trying to do a more standard approach. And here we're going to gamble just a little bit. I'm going to group up my uh, Unicrons with the Rainbow Dash. And we're going to take on... Uh, we're going to go to this city before going to the temple. The temple would give me a little bit more strength. But you know, I would miss out on a city if I did that. So we're going to come down here and let's see what our odds are. See? You're, you're playing with luck. you got to play with luck when you do this. Easy victory, we shall win. Yeah, the early turns are the critical ones. And uh, Pegasi are the way to go here. They even have a little bit of movement bonus. I will check just to make sure I don't have like two turn heavy cavalry or something. Yeah. Now.
Well, let's move here first and see. Okay, can I take this? I can't take this this turn. There's nothing I can do. So what I think I want to do is get blessed and grab it next turn. Because if I get blessed, I'll have a little bit better odds. And I may or may not be able to reach, but whatever. Ah, uh, yes. Lord of Flight. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> you have a hero, then you have your your ghost providing plus one special, and your 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 hero base command, and then the standard for command plus two. You have a nine strength unit. You're attacking units at strength one or two. You know that's a lot easier than attacking units that are defending cities. Get the city bonus uh, from Griffins, and have equal strength as the unit you're attacking with, supporting your hero. That's uh, that's pretty rough. All right, let's grab a quest. Oh man, that's a long distance to travel. But uh, that, you know, I, I, I kind of neglected the quest way too long in the last game. I'm going to try and pick that up. Oh man, it's so far and it's got a spider guarding it. Well, we'll see what we can do. And see, yeah, now we got the butchering sleeping cattle. It's the same fight, but we got the blast, so. And all right, no uh, no whammies early on here. So uh, three five two five Pegasi or two six Griffins, that is ridiculous. If you get that, you are in good shape. <laughs> Needless to say. And all right, this will be an easy uh, conquest. However, you cannot uh, you cannot port out there. Ghosts, spiders. This is actually going to be a uh, an interesting city to try and grab, because the uh, the route there isn't very good. And yeah, here I already have two turn Pegasi, so I can have Pegasi join up. I could try to fly on it, but it's guarded by a freaking spider. So, geez, I might even want to lead off with my unicorns against this city with a ghost. Hope I get lucky and then push the uh, spider with some Pegasi. And you know, maybe I can tool around or harass Red or something on, in the meantime. And then uh, additional unicorns will probably head this direction because there's some easy to capture cities over here. Yeah, and uh, Yellow got himself screwed over, so he's going to be developing slowly. I'll take a lot of Yellow's land and then work my way up here with another one. And I got some Minotaurs though, that's. But yeah, there's some lower lower tier stuff. Like I can just grab the city, occupy it, produce a few things, and then fodder slam the uh, minotaurs easily enough. And yeah, unicorns do get plus one to stack. Okay, all right. So I have re I have a reasonable chance if I head this way. I think I will snag this city first before porting out, just because it'll give me a couple extra fodder units to try to push my way to my quest reward. <laughs> Yeah, ghosts aren't the best uh, special out there, but they're not horrible. They're better than a lot of starting units. I think when you have a start like Blacks, you need to take advantage of the fact that most of the cities around are not that well defended. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, split your hero. That, what I was getting at is you want to split your hero from your ghost and like just either have them both go taking cities. I know that's a slight risk on your hero, but if you're attacking scouts and whatever, you're, you're probably going to be okay. Or uh, send your hero to ruins and just send the ghost around taking cities. Yeah, you'd lose some hero experience on the cities that way, but the development is just so important in this. And yeah, well, some of these personalities, man, they're uh, doing better than others. White's being really aggressive. I guess orange was too. That didn't work out for him. But I'm not scared. I can take him. Yeah, I, I think some of these AI personalities are playing maybe a little bit better than the standard warlord. It's arguable. Man, everything gets plus one to stack. That's uh, everything I have anyway. That's kind of wild. Yeah. Here it's not going to be a big deal. We'll just attack.